Hey guys, I'm making this video because I have a special announcement. Um, I used to do these back, man, back in like the, the old days of YouTube. Um, <laughs> I've been here on YouTube, if you didn't know, for I think about 10 years. How crazy is that? I've been on here forever. Um, please don't go looking for the old videos. Like they're, they're really embarrassing. I mean, my current videos are also sometimes embarrassing, but the old ones are like even more so I'm guessing. So um, don't go back and look, but uh, I used to do this a lot more often on YouTube. Um, and by this, I mean vlog and make announcements about what was coming up and what was going on in my life and um, just talk to you guys more. And uh, I know I know I talk a lot. Um, I know when I do come on here and make these uh, vlog style videos here in my office, whether it's unboxings or whatever it is that I'm talking about, um, I know that I talk a lot and <laughs> sorry about that. Um, it's just part of my personality and uh, I feel the need to over explain everything. I don't know why, it's just me uh, working on it. But, um, but yeah, I used to come on here a lot more often back when I kind of first started YouTube and I would talk about what was coming up, talk about what was going on in my life. If I had any sort of big anything coming out, I would talk about it. And I would make um, announcement videos usually kind of leading up and talking about, uh, you know, why I was excited and why I was doing whatever I was doing. And um, I just feel like I, I let you guys in a lot more back then, um, in part because it was easier for me to make videos. It was just kind of like clicking a button on a laptop and just you know, um, sitting in front of my window and doing it. And uh, I feel like now I've complicated things a little bit more um, and I, I just feel like uh, we're doing things in uh, lower quality. I, I feel like I, if I can do something, I wanna do it to the best of my ability, which is why I spend a lot more of my time if I'm actually gonna be filming something. Um, usually I'm filming music videos or I'm you know, working on something that um, you know, is more so, I don't know, I feel like it more so to my strengths. Um, Cause as much as I love talking to you guys, I don't feel like I'm good at this, you know? I feel, super scattered always when I vlog. I feel like there's always simultaneously like too much information coming at you and not enough of like, you know, the important stuff. And of course, when I come back to edit, I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is fun. Um, but uh, be forewarned, this video will probably be long as my videos tend to be. It's just it's just part of me making videos. I'm sorry, you can skip through if you want to. Um, but I used to do this a lot more. And so I really do want to work on that and connect with you guys more like this in between the music videos because it's important to me. And I love you guys so much. And I'm so grateful for the time that you put in and spend with me, like watching my videos and stuff or anywhere on social media. Um, it means a lot to me. And so I want you guys to know, you know, when I come on here and make vlogs, like, I love unboxing videos and like all of that stuff. I love connecting um, however I can, but I feel like I need to be doing this more. And so I'm gonna work on that. Um, and I'm gonna try really hard to be making more vlogs and stuff when I can, where I can tell you more about sort of um, what's behind the music videos and like why I'm doing what I'm doing and why it's important to me and um, you know, sort of sharing with you more behind the scenes kind of stuff and not even just like on, on set, you know, on the day of, but like why I'm making these videos and writing these songs and kind of what was behind that. Because um, to me, I'm a YouTuber. Um, I do consider myself a YouTuber, but more than that, um, music is my, my passion and writing music is a huge, huge passion of mine. Um, and just sort of expressing myself through my art. And I feel like sometimes it's harder to talk about it, you know? It's like, it's easier sometimes to talk a little bit more about um, more, I don't wanna say like frivolous, but um, about more like chill things, you know? Cause a lot of my music, uh, it's, it's obviously really personal to me. And um, you know, when I talk about it, I love talking about it. If I'm with my friends, you know, I love telling 
the stories of why I wrote a song or why I'm making such and such music video or what the the scene that we're creating for this music video means in correlation to the meaning of the song and like I love talking about that stuff um and I've been meaning to do so much more of this here with you guys with a lot of my past songs but I don't even know why but for whatever reason something's always getting in my way whether it's scheduling or getting nervous or um maybe even like making videos which I have done I've made some of these videos and then I go back to edit and I get nervous and I don't always post them and I need to be doing this so um even if only you know one of you watches this video and it means something to you and you know you enjoy it like that matters to me and um and I know that that uh I should be doing it if even if not for anyone else maybe just for me just for me to voice um what's going on in here you know because I feel like that's good to do sometimes so um yeah I and I do this a lot on Instagram so if you guys do feel like following me across um, my other social medias and stuff social medias. I do post sometimes really personal stuff on Facebook or on Instagram, so sometimes it's a little easier for me to express myself in writing more so than verbally. Um, I'm more of a writer in general. It's just kind of the way I'm built. So feel free to follow me on there and you might get more um, heart to heart kind of stuff uh, here and there when I'm posting it if you'd like. But basically, I want to announce my next big music video project to you guys. As you can tell from the title, it's obviously something Peter Pan. Um, and you can see my <laughs> my set here I've got in my office with um, fun little Peter Pan trinkets that symbolize parts of Neverland to me. Um, but Peter Pan is uh, one of my favorite films of all time. I've always said my holy trinity of Disney, but not really even just Disney, like fairy tales in general, because this even goes way beyond Disney. Um, but you know, Little Mermaid, obviously you guys know I love Ariel, uh, Peter Pan, and Alice in Wonderland. Those are my three favorite Disney films and also kind of my three favorite fairy tales in general. Um, all the versions of them. And granted, Disney is my favorite uh, version of each one. I, I mean, I love a good happy ending. <laughs> I love uh, Disney's versions of fairy tales. But um, those are my three favorites. And Peter Pan is definitely the most nostalgic to me. Something about Peter Pan, um, it just, when I ride the ride at Disneyland, it's my favorite ride at Disneyland, um, it makes me kind of tear up. It's very, like, it's very nostalgic, very close to my heart, and um, it goes back even, like, I would say I saw Little Mermaid when I was four years old, but I think I was watching Peter Pan, like, even before that. Um, but it's just, it just goes way back for me, you know, and it's got a lot of, like, it, a lot of like family stuff tied in like like you know warm fuzzy feelings with my family it's got um it's just really special it's just something it's a whole different um it's a whole different feeling that I get when I think about Peter Pan and when I you know I mean every Disney movie is special every Disney movie that I like <laughs> that I've you know done a tribute to or um done anything inspired by throughout the years like there's a reason because I love all of these films and I love all of these fairy tales but um something about Peter Pan it's it's just uh, kind of in a class of its own to me it's very very special very emotional for me and um and so Getting to do a project inspired by, you know, one of my all-time favorite fairy tales and films, um, actually multiple films, uh, is, it's just um, something I've been looking forward to for a really, really, really long time. Do you guys ever get those projects where you're like, if I could ever do this, you know, like, this will be the most awesome, you know, like, meaningful thing if I ever get the chance to do such and such. Well, making this music video that I'm about to announce to you guys or right now um, is one of those projects. This is, like, a huge, huge dream project for me. It goes far beyond wanting to do a tribute to a Disney movie. It's not a cover. Um, this is you know, drum roll please. <laughs> I'm making a music video for my original song, Neverland for Christmas. I'm so excited to share this with you guys because when I wrote this song with my friend and producer Adam uh, back in 2012, you know, I knew 
way back then that I really wanted to make a music video. I mean, almost any song that I write, I'm already thinking of the music video like as I'm writing it and working on the music because I'm, I'm just so visual, you know? It's, it's just ingrained in me. Um, and so I've been thinking about this for years and years and years, and I know it's not maybe, you know, it probably doesn't make sense or fit into like the YouTube way of doing things and our culture now, everything's like, whatever's popular, like do that thing and whatever's in right now and do that thing and whatever's new and exciting, do that thing, you know? Um, but for me, like, I'm kind of not like that. I feel like the way that I work with, with my, with my art, I feel like it sounds so like snobby to say it like that. I don't, I don't mean to say it like that. I just mean it goes beyond music for me, but, um, you know, with my music projects, especially like, I think about it for a long time. Like it ruminates for years. And um, like the Beauty and the Beast video that you guys saw this past year here on my channel, I've been wanting to do that also since 2012. Um, and so I, I get these ideas and I can't always put them into action in the way that I would want to and be able to afford to. And um, you know, I don't always have all the elements together to make things happen the way that I want at the time that I first want to do them. And so I kind of just catalog it. I just kind of put it on the back burner, keep it in here and do what I can, you know, while I can. Um, but then I just start kind of strategizing and maybe saving up or um, you know, thinking about ways to make it happen maybe in a more cost-effective way, but not sort of compromising on the original vision, you know? And so um, this year has been a pretty difficult year for me in general. And I'm gonna make another video and tell you guys a bit more about that stuff because that's a whole nother video. It's a whole nother like conversation that I really do wanna have with you guys. Um, but I wanna keep this more Neverland focused because like I talk a lot and <laughs> there's a lot of um, stuff I want to share with you and so I feel like it'll be easier to make another video about like all the whys and all that sort of stuff later. But this this year has been tough, um, a lot of health stuff, a lot of just, um, you know, just a lot of stuff going on and it's been an amazing year too in a lot of ways. Some really, really awesome stuff has happened. But I like Beauty and the Beast. That was like my big, my favorite project thus far. But I, um, I've had a little bit of a rough go and I really wanted to end the year with a project that meant a lot to me and that felt like something that really mattered. Um, at least to me. <laughs> Maybe you'll think I'm a little silly, but, um, but to me, this just felt like the perfect project to finally kind of pick back up and um, and work really hard on and push forward with because it's something that um, it probably means you know it it means the most to me out of uh, probably all my songs that have been released thus far. So we'll go a little bit back in time and uh, I'll do a little story time for you guys. It's really funny because we didn't call it that back in OG YouTube days back in like 2007, 2008, 2009. Um, we just vlogged. It was just called a vlog, you know. <laughs> but um, but yeah, let's go back in time a little bit. If you guys are, you know, like maybe treat this like a podcast or something and uh, grab a cup of coffee and go, you know, like do something fun and maybe just put me on in the background if you want if you want to listen in to this information because um yeah it's it's a little bit of a story but hopefully it'll be interesting maybe to some of you guys i don't know but um it's nice for posterity reasons too i suppose but um back in 20 i think it was 2012 when we wrote and released this song. I was working a lot with my friend Adam Gutman, who is an amazing songwriter, composer, producer, you name it, musically, he's done it and he's incredible. We were working together on different music projects and stuff, and I think he was the one that brought it up to me at one point, we talked about it a few times, but he was like, I love Christmas music. I think we should do a Christmas song, like an original Christmas song. And I love the idea, of course, and I was like, yeah, that sounds amazing, like, let's do it. And so the way that we typically worked as far as our co-writing collaboration whenever we would do songs together is usually I would go and do kind of like a free write. And then I would sort of maybe piece together melodies and lyrics and sometimes like a whole verse would come to me, sometimes a chorus, sometimes just a piece of the song, or sometimes I'd even come with like most of the song, like a, a kind of 
pre-idea of how I wanted it to go. And so I did sort of like a free write. I came up with some ideas and I, I basically was just like, the, when I went home and I was kind of thinking about it and thinking about Christmas songs, I, I already like written some Christmas kind of stuff in the past that I'd never really done anything with. If you guys are songwriters, you know, we, we have like chunks of starts to songs all over the place, voice memos on my phone and like old journals from years and years ago where I've got all these like starts to things where I've never kind of like finished them, you know? And so um, I had like some Christmas songs that were kind of started and I could have picked those back up and maybe gone with that. But the more I thought about it, the more I just felt inspired to do something inspired by Neverland, by Peter Pan. So I was just thinking, like, I wanted to do something a little kind of different, kind of fairy tale-ish, because that's me. That's what I love, and that's what um, inspires me and actually fuels my music. Most of the songs I write are inspired by some fairy tale or um, lore or, uh, you know, even something in pop culture, like movies or books or whatever, but um, typically, I kind of write through the lens of like a fairy tale. That's just kind of become my MO. And so I just kept thinking, well, what do I want for Christmas? I want to go to Neverland. Cause like, how awesome would that be? And I just thought it was a cool idea. And so I brought that idea to him and I brought my kind of free write. And I think I had the first verse written and I had the general sort of like structure of the song. And then he took it and he sat with it for a few days and came up with the gorgeous music that you guys hear. I think, I'm trying to remember if he started with like a piano track or it was kind of like, you know, it was, it was a more bare bones version of what we have now, but it was a beautiful track that he kind of came up with. And I think he was the one that actually added the melody of the chorus. And um, and I think he wrote, he, he added an extra verse. I had two verses and he added the middle one, which I love so, so, so much. And it's cool because when you, get the song all together, it, it really is, I feel like, this one in particular. Some of our songs that we've done together, I feel like sometimes they're a little more influenced by him. Like, I feel like Love Bird was um, very much kind of like Adam's style, and I loved it, and it was awesome, and it was definitely, you know, had some of me in there as well. And other songs, like my song Stay With You, that was like pretty much already done um, when I brought it to him, and that was kind of more me as far as the melody and lyrics and stuff. But like, this one's cool, because I feel like this one has a lot of both of us in it. But as the song kind of came together, and as we finished writing it and started recording it, I kind of realized like, not only does this one feel really special, but it feels, it's kind of sad. I feel like it's got that nostalgia in there, which I love. Um, but it, you know, kind of the overarching feel, it's a little sad, you know? It's a little bit, even, not dark, but it's, I don't know, at least to me it's kind of deep, you know? And I think that what we both realized as we sort of listened back to the recording and put the song into mastering and stuff and getting it ready to release, because um, I feel like it came together pretty quick, we realized that it kind of struck a nerve with both of us and to me at least it feels like like the fairy tale in general of Peter Pan and like the Disney movie even it's the themes of having to grow up and having to deal with the real world and when I say deal with the real world I mean having to sort of you know wake up and come to terms with the darker parts of our world, the things that we don't want to think about and dwell on and face. Um, but when you grow up, that's that's a huge part of, of growing up and why you grow up. And, you know, but I think all of us can relate to that feeling of being afraid and maybe wanting to stay young in, in our hearts and wanting to, um, Sometimes we just want to escape, you know? And I don't think that's, I don't think it's wrong. I don't think we should always escape. <laughs> but I think that um, sometimes when things get hard, when you're dealing with trauma or trials and um, difficult, difficult things, you know, a lot of us, we want to escape. And um, we do that in different ways, you know? I know a lot of you guys out there, probably like me, you love entertainment and Disney and fairy tales and thinking about um, things that aren't here on this earth, things that are fantasy and you know, what have you, and we escape 
to those places and I think that's why a lot of us connect to Disney even as adults. Definitely we're, we're far from childhood now but we we hold on to those things and we we let them stay. But so I feel like this song, it very much is about wanting something more. It's about um, wanting to escape when things are tough, you know, and it's written from the perspective, I mean, really of me or anyone, you know, who, whoever that might be going through something and wanting something um, that's sort of an escape um, and wanting something that's pure, wanting something that's safe, wanting something that's an adventure, that's exciting, that's different. And I think that it's sort of, it's me trying to express the longing that I feel for something more. And I think we all have that inside of us. I think all of us have, you know, there's, there's an, an emptiness inside, there's a longing inside, there's a knowledge that this is not enough. That what we have here on earth is amazing and it's incredible and it's a gift and it's priceless beyond any words that I could express, right? Like, life is such a gift. Our lives, our families, our blessings, our gifts, our talents, our friends, our communities, all of these things that we're blessed with in our lives are tremendous gifts, right? So we should all feel grateful all the time. There is, no matter how bad things get, we all have amazing, wonderful things in our lives that we can be grateful for, you know? But it's not enough. And maybe you're not connecting with this, Maybe you don't feel this, but I suspect that most people can in some way connect to that where, you know, think about anything that you love, anything um, that you do, anyone that you want to spend time with, and, you know, anything in your life really. Think about social media. Think about binging TV shows. Think about, like, anything that you like. When is it enough? You know, how many likes are enough on Instagram? You know, when are you gonna be satisfied? How, how many episodes of Stranger Things are you gonna need before you're satisfied? You know, and I feel like in this life, there's the feeling of, I love this, I want more, it's not enough. And then there's the feeling of, I'm over it, it's too much. But where is that feeling of being content where is that feeling of wholeness? Where is that feeling of happiness that lasts longer than a few moments, an hour, a day, a week, a month? I don't know, maybe this isn't making sense. Maybe I'm just kind of waxing on, but what I'm trying to get to is, I believe that we were created for more. I believe that this world, it's amazing and it's a gift, but it is not all that there is for us. I believe in heaven. When I was alone and when I was sitting down to begin writing this song, I didn't know that it was gonna be about something more than, hey, like, wouldn't it be fun to go to Neverland for Christmas and like, let's do something cute and fun and like, fairy tale and, you know, let's give the song a theme, you know, that's outside of the general Christmas theme. Like, in my head, I was just kind of, as I'm going, you know, I was just kind of thinking, oh, it'd be cute to throw fruitcake at Hook's face and like, you know, be like, just cute and fun, right? Um, but after I wrote the lyrics and after we finished the song and after we went back and listened to it and we listened to what we both brought to it, I realized that when I was writing this song, and this happens to me a lot, like <laughs> almost every song I write, I realize later what it's actually about. It's like there's some weird uh, subconscious thing that like comes out when I'm writing. I can't explain it. It's not me. Honestly, I think it's God. But um, there's something that happens where I look back and I realize wow, like this is totally about this, not about this. You know, on the surface it looks like this, which is like Peter Pan, you know? And like my Sleeping Beauty song was the same way. It's, 
It's about, you know, a fairy tale. It's about Sleeping Beauty. No, it was about my, you know, sort of depression and pain that I was going through when I was going through back surgery and when I was going through physical pain and like trauma. Um, and I realized later, I was like, oh my gosh, this is, this is not about this. It's about this, you know, but it's through the lens of a fairy tale. And so with Peter Pan, um, with Neverland for Christmas, it's so the same way. And, you know, just kind of what I realized when I kind of took a step back, listened to the song as a whole, and thought about those lyrics that I wrote, I was like, this is about heaven. This song is, this isn't about going to Neverland. You know, this is about that deep longing that I have inside me for escape, not to a fairy tale place, but to a real place, you know, that I'm created for someday, where, you know, there's not gonna be sorrow anymore. There's only gonna be adventure. You know, there's, um, sorry, I might get like a little emotional talking about it, because again, like I said, it's, it's a really emotional um, project for me. And, you know, it, I, I don't know, I, I just think that that's why it matters. And I respect what you guys believe. I'm not trying to push my beliefs on you. Know that I love you and I respect you no matter what you believe. And I know there's a lot of people out there that, um, that might not agree with me and that's okay. But I just want you guys to know that, um, that that's why this means so much to me. I believe that we are created with a deep longing and amazing, um, amazing things in this life and amazing talents and opportunities and gifts that we're given and love, you know, that we have with our family and our friends and the people that we're connected to. But there is an emptiness in there too that can only be filled by God. You know, it can only be filled by our Heavenly Father and the one who gave us life and the one who created us. He created us for more. And so I believe that when we leave this life, when we're at the end of ours, that we enter into you know, the next life, our eternal life, we're created for heaven. You know, we're created for a life with him. And it's, it's, you know, it's something that we can't even understand right now. Like, it's really hard for me to understand it. Cause obviously like, we haven't been there. We don't know what it's like, but you know, the Bible says that it's, it's perfect. And you know, we are so flawed and our world is, hurting so badly and, and it's full of darkness. But we're created to be lights. We're created for a purpose. There is a plan for our lives and us just bumbling along and doing whatever we want to do, like, that's not enough. That's not what we were created for. We're not created just to get by. We're not created just, you know, to make grabs at happiness where we can get them and to survive, you know? We're created to thrive and we're created to have his joy, you know, and to know that there is a hope beyond this world that whatever you're going through right now, wherever dark place that you have been to, that you're going to experience or where you're in right now, that there is hope and there is light at the end of it and that God is waiting for you. You know, he's there. You are not alone and you are created for so much more than you could ever even imagine. You have gifts that nobody else has. You were created to do something here on this earth that nobody else is gonna do. You are created with a unique set of gifts that God put in you, that he purposed in you for a reason. And if you seek him, and if you live with that hope for heaven, you're gonna look back one day and you're gonna be amazed at the things that he's done in your life if you let him lead. And so that's what I'm working on right now, having that you know eternal perspective and knowing that no matter how difficult things in this life can get, that this isn't the end all be all and it's okay. And I'm gonna be okay. I wanna live a life and leave a legacy that matters. I wanna create something that lasts and I want my inspiration to come from him. So anyways, uh, <laughs> I digress. The song is, it's about going to Neverland for Christmas. It's about, you know, this sweet little girl who goes to Neverland because she's sad. But beyond that, you know, looking like through that, piercing through that fairy tale lens, it's about all of us. And it's about the longing that's deep inside us for something more. And it's about heaven.
it's about the fear that a lot of us have about growing older and our bodies getting frail and not being there for us. It's about missed expectations and making your peace with your reality, whatever that is, and the things within your reality that you feel like are out of your control or that you feel like are hopeless, um, things that you feel like are irreversible, things that you feel like are just darkness, you know, um, bringing you down, things that are holding you back. Whatever it is that you're dealing with, whatever trial, whatever pain, this song is about reclaiming your youth and reclaiming that that adventurous spirit that we all had when we were kids, when anything was possible and there were no limitations and we could go to Neverland because Peter Pan was totally gonna show up on our, on our windowsill one night and take us off on an adventure to Neverland. It could totally happen. I had my blue nightgown when I was a kid that I used to put on and pretend I was Wendy Darling and waited for Peter Pan and you know definitely entertained fantasies of Peter uh, taking me off on an adventure and meeting Tinkerbell and swimming in Mermaid Lagoon and meeting the pirates and learning how to sword fight and all of those things you know um, it's about reclaiming that excitement and it's about um, you know knowing that adventure it's still there for you, you know? It's still in our future, here on this earth and in heaven. So when you guys listen to this song, um, I wanted to share that with you. I know it's super personal and kind of emotional and maybe it sounds cheesy to you and that's fine, but I just wanted you to know why it means a lot to me and why it's really special to me. Um, I've been through a lot in my life. I've gone through a lot of trials. Um, I've had a lot of scary things happen within my family. My dad had cancer. I almost lost my mom to toxic shock. Um, I, you know, almost died as a baby of spinal meningitis. Um, I've gone through a lot with my health over the years. I'm going through something kind of major right now. Don't worry, I'm okay. It's nothing like life or death or anything like that. It's just a struggle that I'm going through, which I'll share more about that with you soon. But I have so much hope. And I just want you guys to kind of know where I'm coming from when I'm sharing these musical projects with you because they all have this sort of hidden meaning, or at least most of them do, have this sort of hidden meaning behind them. Um, something that's really personal to me in my life. And so this, you know, this song, Neverland for Christmas, for me, it means that. There's just so much hope and nostalgia and love and sorrow. And, and of course, that hope of heaven like wrapped up in there. Okay, so now that I've gotten through all of this sort of emotional songwriting portion of that song and what this video is about, I also just wanted to briefly, if you're still here, <laughs> I wanted to briefly touch on what you guys can expect to see in this music video. This is a huge, huge dream come true. I wanted to end the year with something that really meant a lot to me and something that I really hope you guys will enjoy too. And I love that it um, it's an original song. You know, I do a lot of covers and uh, you know, I feel like I definitely do more covers than original music. And so it's really, really special for me to get to share this with you guys, especially during the Christmas season. Um, I just really, really hope you guys enjoy it. So what you guys are gonna get to see is a peek into Neverland. I am taking inspiration, heavy inspiration from my favorite versions of Neverland films like Hook and of course, Disney's Peter Pan. In the video, you're gonna get to visit Mermaid Lagoon, you're gonna get to visit uh, the Jolly Roger, Captain Hook's pirate ship, you might see some of your favorite characters make an appearance, and meet the Lost Boys, Tinkerbell, and Peter himself might make a little appearance. The lead actress of this music video is not me, and I'm so excited that for once, it, it's someone else, someone so much more magical and adorable than I am, someone who, really should always star in my music videos because she's like the most adorable, precious thing and she's the most talented, amazing actress. I am blown away by this girl. My dear, dear friend Miley is gonna be playing the protagonist in the video. She's gonna be the little girl that goes to Neverland and so you guys are gonna get to see her and sort of um, see it through her eyes. When I met Miley, she was four years old. We met at Disneyland and she was in a full Wendy costume She's the littlest cosplayer I had ever met at the time. And she was just the most adorable 
little precious Wendy I'd ever seen. And she ran up to me and gave me a big hug and she followed all of my stuff at the time. She, she knew the song Neverland for Christmas by heart. She knew all the words. She, at the time, I think she told me it was her favorite song and which is why she wore the Wendy dress when she went to meet me. I met her mom Darlene and she's amazing and they both since become really, really good friends. We hung out all day that day at Disneyland and then we've kept in touch ever since and we get to see each other. We've cosplayed together. We've done charity work together. Um, we've performed together on stage. She even modeled for Adorkable. Um, she's the one in the kids shirt on our Adorkable website. And even way, way back then, I knew that I wanted Miley to be the lead in this video whenever I made it. And I didn't know it was going to take me this long. I, <laughs> if I'd known back then, oh man, I would have been so bummed. But um, back when she was literally four years old, I wanted her to play this part. And now she is nine. And um, and I feel like it all happened for a reason because it feels it feels like this is the right time for one thing. But she's grown up so much, and her her ability, her performing and acting ability has just I've seen her talent grow. I feel so honored that I get to have her be a part of this, and just seeing her grow into this beautiful young lady that she's turning into, and just seeing her talent and seeing her use her gifts has just been such an honor and I just feel so blessed that I've gotten the opportunity to get to know this little nugget that I love so much. I of course will be in the video as well. You guys are gonna have to keep your eyes peeled and see if you spot me in each scene because uh, I'll be there. I'll be there, you just have to look pretty closely um, in some of them. <laughs> Sometimes it will be more obvious than others. Um, and of course, like we'll probably have some little um, cutaways of me singing and stuff, so you'll see me throughout but really like it's about it's about going to Neverland it's not about me it's about all of this awesome fun stuff that you're gonna get to see as you guys know or maybe you don't know but um, everything I do is on a budget and I I have very grand visions for these music videos that I like to make <laughs> and um, those of you guys who follow me on patreon you are amazing you are making this happen um, they are literally the ones that are helping me make these projects possible and they're the ones that are are helping me move along but like there's a lot that we want to do, you know? There's a lot of over-the-top stuff that we always want to do, that I always want to do when it comes to my music video projects. And so what's really, really amazing and exciting and such a huge blessing is that we have gotten to work with some seriously amazing people to make this happen. So stay tuned. I'm going to be doing BTS videos for you guys of like each day of filming of um, all the different awesome elements and people that we're getting to work with so you guys can get a feel for like what it's like to to make one of these sort of over the top, like really involved music videos with lots of shoot days. I just wanna bring you guys with me on the experience because it's just so much fun and there's so much that goes on that you guys never get to see. I'm gonna be sharing individual videos with you guys as we go along so that you can kinda of see, and some might come out after the video depending on timing, we'll kinda of see how the timing works out, but basically just sharing with you all of these sort of segmented videos of here's the pirate day, you know, here's the makeup process for such and such. Here's costuming. Here's an unboxing video of this costuming or whatever, right? So I just wanted to share with you guys like as much behind the scenes stuff as possible because it's just so much fun and I'm hoping you guys enjoy it. And if you do, like, please let me know because I want to know what you guys want to see and I want to know um, if that stuff is interesting to you because I'm one of those people that I love the behind the scenes of like everything. I will sit and watch The Lord of the Rings you know, two days worth of behind the scenes footage because I just want to know how things work. I want to know where everything comes from. I want to know what the people are like when they're out of character. And like, I just want to know everything, you know? And so I thought it'd be fun to um, try to sort of make a fun video playlist for you guys of like all these fun elements that we're pulling together to make this um, fun, epic Neverland tribute video. All right, this video is like 300 years long. I'm sorry, I did warn you. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. 
Um, feel free to connect with me on like social media everywhere. I'm gonna link everything in the description box below as usual. But you know, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and all that good stuff. So if you want more in between the YouTube videos, feel free to hit me up. I love hearing from you guys. If you haven't subscribed and you wanna subscribe, make sure to do that so that you can see all of these videos that I'm talking about. And so of course you can see the music video right when it comes out. If you guys wanna go check out my Patreon, and join the Mer crew. I highly recommend it because most of them see all these videos first before anybody else does, so feel free to sign up, but no pressure, no pressure, you guys. I love you so much, and just knowing that you wanna keep in touch with me in any way, shape, or form means the world to me. So thank you for listening to this super long vlog, and uh, I love you, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. I wanna go to Neverland for Christmas. Maybe there I'll never grow old